Hello Internet. I think all AT videos need to start with Hello Internet in honor of the great Maxim. Um, I think it should be compulsory. Anyway, moving on. The What I want to do today is just show you some productivity using Advanced SEMA. Um, I'm going to create some cards and then variations of cards saved as templates and show how easy it is to create a single set and then easily duplicate and rename and create additional sets of cards. Um, now, this isn't the way I would normally work. Um, I'm also going to use um, the Bricks UI only. I'm not going to use custom CSS to keep it really simple. Um, but it demonstrates, I guess, the power of um, AT uh, features that you may not always use, but when you do need them, they are incredibly useful. I'm going to start by simply using AT as much as I can. So I'm going to add a section and container just by clicking this up here. Container, I'm going to set that to be a grid. I'm not going to use any frameworks here, so we keep it simple. So I'm going to say three RAM. Uh, and let's do three columns, one FR, one FR, one FR. Again, I wouldn't normally do that. but And this is just to give us a foundation to work from. Inside that, I'm going to create a block. I'm going to call that a card basic. And the card basic, whoops. I'm going to add three blocks inside that. One's going to be my header. Body and my footer. Inside the header, an icon and a heading. Inside the body, I think I'll add a, another block for a wrapper. Explain that shortly. Uh, actually, I'll call it body wrapper. We may need a wrapper in some of the other elements as well. So, put body wrapper. Uh, and inside the body wrapper, I'm going to add just a text box. Outside of the body wrapper, I'm going to add an image. Um, we might just call this feature image. And AT, by default in my AT settings, my images are defaulting to figures, so I don't need to change that. So on my foot, I'm just going to put text link in there. Okay, and there's our structure. Really well done, I think. All right, so first productivity feature, apart from these shortcuts here, is the class converter. So I right click on the block level, class converter. These are all the BEM classes that it's going to create. Um, leave all this as default because I haven't done anything else. And boom, I have BEM classes here for all of my elements already done. Okay, so that's the first stage. The next stage is we're going to style this up and then we're going to create a template from it. So for my card basic, again, just using the Bricks UI, I'm not going to use custom CSS and make sure you select your classes in the class manager up here. Uh, why don't I put a border on that? Oh, so I'll use my shortcuts, AT shortcuts here. I'll put a border of one pixel. Solid. And I'm using some colors here. So I'll just use this color here. So I'll use this primary color. Um, and for my radius, I'll just join them all together. And I'm just going to do a one rem radius, but a one rem radius around everything. Okay, now while I'm here, I'm also going to go into my layout, set my overflow to hidden. And that's so when I add color to the elements inside it, um, they get clipped by the border of that box set. So my header, let's give it a background. So again, click, make sure your class is selected. Get a background. We'll make it just pure white. Hmm. Um, let's give it some uh, padding. Do one rem padding. Now again, this you you would normally use variables for this, and um, maybe your, your own. Framework or something like ACSS or core framework, or whatever. For the purpose of this, I'm just going to use fixed fixed values here. My icon, make sure the icon class is selected. Leave the icon as is for now. Change the color to maybe this primary color and make that say three rim. Okay. Heading, uh, make sure the heading class is selected. We're going to set the color on that to be our primary uh, dark um, font size. We'll just leave it as it is, or 
uh, actually let's make it say 2.5 just to fit in with what we're doing up here now we also want some flex on the header so in our layout we're going to change the it's already on flex because we selected a block which already has flex make it a row and make it so that it's always a row so no wrap at any break point we're going to put a column, column gap in there of one rem okay so there we go we're going to hit a styled up which is a row with a gap some padding and a background color and our icon and heading a style body we don't need to do anything with the body tag but the body wrapper we're going to stick some padding on that Wait, one rem be the same as the others all the way around now i've got some gap here that's some auto gap from a framework i'm using so i'm just gonna get rid of my Gap here, set those to zero. So I can get some extra spacing in there. Here's my body wrapper. Here's my featured image. Um, I'm going to change that to be, I'm just going to pick any old image for now. Okay, so on my image, make sure we've selected the class, already a figure, change the. Da, 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 da. No, we haven't selected the class. Sorry, select the class. And you'll notice with AT here, if we haven't got the class selected, we can't edit any of the CSS related uh, properties uh, because we're locking our style level editing. And that's an AT feature as well. So select the class. Uh, let's say we want a four by three, three aspect ratio, and we want to cover so that we don't distort our image. All right. Now footer, let's add some, same padding as we've got everywhere else, so one rim. And maybe we'll set a background color on that. And we'll make that a neutral dark. And the topography will set to be white. All right, and we might actually just right align that as well. So we'll right align the, uh, the footer. And there's a very basic card done all right so now we have a very simple card we might decide that we want the feature image to actually go above the text by default but we want all the text to come first in the dom for accessibility um, so what we do is like our feature image um, go to our layout tab and in our order we set that to minus one that moves the image up so we've got one rim top and bottom padding here we've got nothing because we've got no row gap uh, on that, got a run rim top and padding on this, so it all lines up perfectly. All right, so that's our first simple basic card done. Now, the next thing we're going to do is going to right click on the card basic in the element edit in the structure panel. We're going to save this as a template. Card basic template type is a section. Save as template. Done. All right. So that's the first one already done. So we've used a bunch of AT features. We've used mostly the class manager at the stage uh, to create our automatically create our um, features. Used a bunch of shortcuts on the left hand on the right hand side here, and shortcuts on the left hand side here. Uh, we also I didn't note that these forward um, inputs um, is also an AT feature as well. So back to our container, and we're going to now insert a copy of the template we just created. So insert the template. That's going to create a copy and bricks being a little bit of a pain there. It's inserted in the wrong place. We just drag that up so that oops, it's inside the card. Can be a little tricky drag and drop and bricks, but we'll forgive them because it's such an amazing page builder. All right, so this one here, we're going to call this card secondary. We're going to make a variation. I would normally use BEM modifiers for this. So I'm just showing you productivity wise how you can do this this is how i'd normally do it though so we go card secondary so we're going to use right click on that and use our class converter again no sorry not class converter the class component class manager this time and we're going to have bulk actions and we want to duplicate the class so in all the classes that have card basic just in case you've got additional classes on there that you don't want to duplicate you can filter these by just typing in Keywords that you want to find. We then actually want to replace the word card basic with card uh, secondary. A couple of important things here. 
is we want to remove the old classes from the elements, yes, but we do not want to delete the old classes because we want them to remain on the card basic. So just basically the only two things setting I changed was remove old classes, set to yes. Hit the duplicate classes button, save the post. Now if we look at the second card, now it looks exactly the same, but if we look at the actual classes on it, that one's now called card secondary. This one's card secondary header. Uh, this one's card secondary icon. So in the one foul move with the uh, component class manager, we've copied and created a duplicate of the basic. I think that's just brilliant. I think it's really, really super productive. Uh, again, not how I'd operate, but good to know that I can do this when I need to. All right, so then we're gonna go through our card secondary and we might change some of these properties so on our border. Maybe we'll change that to our secondary color. Uh, maybe the background on the header will make that the a secondary color. So again, we use our AT shortcuts here. Secondary, maybe we're gonna make that secondary dark. Uh, which means our icons aren't working right, so we're going to make sure change that. So change the icon color. We're going to get secondary. Make that secondary light or ultra light. Hitting. Secondary ultra light there. All right, and in the footer, we might make that a dark color. We get ultra dark in the footer, and let's say that's our secondary card. There. All right, done. Now, what we do is we right click on our secondary card, save it as a template. It's already got the name in there. Template type is a section, save it as a template, and we are done. All right, so that's those two. That's just basically changing colors. Let's say we then want to create a different type of card based on the same principles. Then we go to our templates, insert our basic. Okay, chuck them in up here as a third column. Ooh. There we go. Sometimes it takes a little bit of finessing to get those in. Let's call this card service. Okay, so card service, we're going to now go to component class manager. Bulk actions, we want to get all of the card basics. And we want to replace card basic with card service. Mr. Step here. Okay, same deal. Remove the old classes from the elements, but don't delete them from the globals. Duplicate, save. All right, now all of these should have card service on them instead of. Card basic. So I made the error jumping ahead without renaming. Okay, let's go back to our uh, header and chuck it inside the body. The body, we're going to go make that a relative positioned body. And make our header a absolute positioned header. It's already a block, a bricks block, which means it's already 100% wide. By default, it's going to sit at the top, but if we want to be sure, we can set it at the left, zero, top zero. Um, let's go to the background, change that to be a neutral or maybe a black with some transparency. There we go. Uh, we'll go to our, so our header, change your icon to be, actually the icon can stay that color if we want to. Hitting, we need to change. Change that to maybe a white, a little bit of transparency. There we go. Um, and because we've got such a small space up there, maybe what we'll do is we'll add some padding top and bottom of that as well. So maybe instead of uh, one REM, we might make that three REM top and bottom. So we've got a bit more for our header. Okay, we're seeing a problem here, which I'll talk about shortly as well. And there we go. We've got a Heading, which is absolute, with our body, which has got the uh, body wrapper in it. Uh, it's got the featured image, which is sitting above the um, 
uh, sorry, above the text because it's uh, positioned as minus one. We've got some text down here, but our footer is not sitting at the bottom of the card. Now, the simple way to fix that is we go to our footer and go to our layout and we add our A U T O auto to the top of our footer. Right, now that works there, but what about over here? What if we add some more copy in there? This class here, the footer's no good, right? So if we go to that footer over there, we can do the same thing. Should have done this in the first place, but I forgot all about it. Auto at the top of that. And we'll also go to this footer here and add auto at the top of that as well. Okay, so now we can get rid of this here. So all of these will force their footer to the bottom. So all of them are forcing the footer to the bottom now. Right, so on this card here, the one we just created, the service card, I'm going to right click. And I'm going to save that as a template. We're going to call that service card as a section. Save as a template. Done. All right, now we're done. So if I want to use this now, I'll just completely delete all the content off this editor, add a section, set my container here. I'm going to have a grid of spacing a three rem. Uh, let's do one FR, one FR, one FR. So we get three columns. That's a cheat's way of doing it. Um, and then we're going to insert our, let's say we want service cards. Insert that. There's a service card, put it inside the container. Duplicate that twice. Now we could use that as a query loop. Now these are all service cards where they're all putting their foot at the bottom. Uh, change your image here. Uh, change the image on this one here. So there's our service cards. Right. If we decide we want to add another container, another container there, in that container, set that to a grid of 3 rem, uh, 1 FR, 1 FR, 1 FR. Inside so that container, we go into our templates. We now want a card secondary. Insert the card secondary and put it in the right place that Bricks didn't put it into. And let's say we want to add a card basic. Okay, we'll stick that in there as oops. Okay, so you can see here we've created a container there. Let's create another one. Actually, you can just copy and paste from up here, but I'm just going to use the templates. We'll add a service card in there. Oh, messed up with that somehow. Dragging and dropping. Look that. Brex is doing something funky to me now. And I can't undo. Oh, that's the first time that's happened to me, but you get the gist. Try and hit the refresh, see what happens. Uh, Brex just decided to play up on me there, but you get the gist. So it's really, really simple that you can create your BIM classes really, really quickly just by naming your elements in the structure panel using the class converter. You can then save that as a template, insert your template, or copy the element, uh, use your class manager to duplicate the classes uh, while removing the old classes from, the, uh, from those elements, style it up, save that as a different template, and just keep doing that. That's really super powerful. Love what Maxime's done with that. Uh, I don't always use it specifically for this, but when I need those features, it's great to know that they're there. So thanks for listening, guys. I hope that makes uh, your life just a little bit easier.